We begin with two American journalists abducted by Islamic terrorists in Syria. 31-year-old Stephen Sotloff disappeared a year ago. Today, his mother made a dramatic plea for his release. And 45-year-old Peter Theo Curtis, who was freed over the weekend after nearly two years in captivity, is back home tonight. Here's Margaret Brennan. It had been 22 months since writer Peter Theo Curtis saw his mother. Last night, they were reunited at Boston's Logan Airport. Today, outside his mother's house in Cambridge, Massachusetts, an emotional Curtis told reporters how thankful he was to be free. I suddenly remember how good the American people are and what kindness they have in their hearts. And to all those people, I say a huge thank you from my heart, from the bottom of my heart. Curtis was held captive by Jubat al-Nusra, al-Qaeda's official wing in Syria, until the Qatari government negotiated his release on Sunday. The more extreme terror group ISIS has also taken American hostages, but so far has not responded to negotiations. I am Shirley Satloff. My son Stephen is in your hands. Today, the mother of another kidnapped American, freelance journalist Stephen Satloff, made an impassioned video plea for help. ISIS has held her son captive since last August. We want to see him home safe and sound and to hug him. The world first saw Sotloff's face when ISIS released this video showing the beheading of fellow journalist James Foley last week. The same executioner threatened to kill Sotloff next unless the U.S. calls off airstrikes in Iraq. I ask you to please release my child. Sotloff's mother directly addressed ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi and begged for his mercy. I want what every mother wants, to live to see her children's children. I plead with you to grant me this. And Maurice, the Sotloff family considers this part of an 11th hour plea for help since all U.S. efforts and other diplomatic channels have failed.